in order to really get her to go ahead and regret losing you, it's going to come into so many different factors. So it's going to come down to if you've been dating her for a long time, if y'all just broke up. It's also going to come down to how much did she feel you before? Sometimes y'all had an entanglement going on. Sometimes it was a situationship. And sometimes it was a long relationship and even a long distance relationship. And so I'm going to discuss many of the ways that you can go ahead and get her to regret losing you. But one thing that you have to remember, it's always going to start with what are you doing yourself? So a lot of it comes down to are you genuinely happy? Happy or are you doing these things because you're trying to get a message across because oftentimes if you end up doing it that way not only is it not really worth it at the end of the day because even if you do have her feeling away it was all for her it was never really for yourself and that's not a good thing the other hand too is that are you gonna have long-term success after it long-term happiness don't just think about just the moment because sometimes when you're just thinking about well I could get that person upset I can get her feeling away then it's like what's next after you notice oh they did want you then they don't want you anymore so it's always like having a plan in the process and many of this stuff is going to come down to what have you been doing to put something different in your life so it's going to be goals maybe a whole new relationship how did you end up transforming and all these other things that i'll break down make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you still have it and of course make sure you subscribe with your post notification on a serious genuine question for y'all is how much do you feel like you're really doing it for yourself because i know sometimes it's about how could you really have that person see the value that you brought to the table or just generally have that that person not forget about you and also regret not having you in their life no more so with that being said is it really for yourself that you're doing it or is it really for that person go ahead and comment me as in for yourself or go ahead and comment for her and if it's really for her that's where the reevaluation does gotta come in and at the end of the day i know when you have attachments to somebody you care about somebody and they're out of your life it does become very much difficult to move on and all these things and so let's get into this topic of the first thing that you really want to pay attention to is your focus as i started this video i was talking about where are you bringing that focus where are you trying to get this end goal to be at when it comes to dating especially in the modern day and when it comes down to having the mindset that most women will be attracted to it's not so easy especially when you come across a woman that you don't understand her emotions or don't know how to get her to miss you and so i created books and different things that you could check out on my website to help you with all of that and i also included my personal stories so you can really understand what success that made that guy win me over that was was an alpha male and a sigma there's so much great characteristics that you have to have and you got to understand women's emotions make sure you check out the books and other things that i have linked in my bio in other words is it all for the likely that you want them back you want them to be obsessed or attached to you or is it for you to actually have actual growth and so the next thing which is part of number one as well number two will be going ahead and actually making real life changes so one big thing is if you go ahead and actually go and start dating or doing something that you haven't been doing let's say even for a long time you've been taking somebody serious and especially if it wasn't the same way with them but you maintain to keep your let's say loyalty going on you maintain to keep your commitment going on you probably cut off so many people or you just said, oh, dating is not my thing. I specifically just want that person. So that means if you got to now have a mindset of moving on, being done with them. And remember, that's going to be one of the ways as well to go ahead and show that you don't care. You don't want to be with them and all these things. And so if you have that mindset, what would then happen at that point is that that person has to look at what have you been up to? What have you been doing? Sometimes if you find a tendency of you going back or repeating something to them or trying to get a message across, all it's doing is that it's sabotaging your own success at the end of the day now you're more consumed on trying to make them think a certain way instead when you should be out dating or if you don't want to get back in the dating scene which you should never be rushing you should maybe go ahead and just invest more time into you now it's all about a balance at the end of the day but when you go through a heartbreak as well it's kind of hard to find like let's say what habits you want to be doing and what you want to be doing next with yourself and having actual goals and all these things it's kind of hard to think about it you're kind of just going day by day because you're heartbroken and you're probably feeling a way about things keep yourself distracted with the positive things such as going to a local place or anywhere to be exact it could be somewhere that you just really like and spending more time there so you could keep your mind off of that person and also that means you could start figuring out what will be best to actually have transformations happening with you so when you seem like you're actually moved on you won't have a tendencies of watching their story that's another great way and that will be my last thing seeing what's going on with their life in order to really get her to regret losing you you gotta stop having a connection back to her and this could be its own separate video but look at it this way how much are you still consumed with that person when they're already out of your life unfortunately the answer for many people is going to be a whole lot because you wake up thinking about them you go to sleep thinking about them throughout the day you're still thinking about them 
And the worst part, sometimes y'all actually go ahead and break no contact, reach out, you know, about all these different topics out here. And so that is all that you need to be avoiding. Now, if you really want all of this to work out in your favor, because it's always going to come right back to you, are you going ahead and setting things into place to make you become an overall better person? That's physically. And I always talk about emotionally and obviously spiritually. All of these other ways are going to matter just as much. And so you got to be trying to have that balance kicking in because when you have a weakness and sometimes your weakness comes from being still stuck on that person right or still being in love or consumed or emotionally invested or even emotionally affected right so you're trying to get back on track you're not going to be trying to be looking at your phone looking at old messages or just being so tempted to just reach out in some way or ask somebody that they know of or you guys have mutual friends ask them about them and the likelihood of somebody you know knowing them going back to them and telling them about you and how you're doing is pretty high sometimes so you want it to be all on the positive note of they know or they hear that you're doing great you're moved on your life is good and even if it's not good it's not necessarily that you have to think about oh how can i fake it but it's going to be how can i try to get there so you could say oh you're going day by day now you're doing this the day before you were doing that and so if it's going to be baby steps that's always going to be important but it's about the improvements that you're making and how it's actually showing if you're going to be ignoring or if there's other stuff that you have going on it could be about anything self-improvement back to dating consultations are available for that book your consultation let's get on the line and talk about what's going on with you click that link now before i wrap up if you still haven't given this video a big thumbs up make sure you do so and if you want a part two or any other specific videos let me know in the comment section and so the last thing i just want to make sure that you guys put to the focus of what needs to get you to let's say the next level or on a different level is that if you do notice things are working in your favor it's like some attention is coming back or even that person that you want is looking back your way you should not be getting caught up on that so yes you could do all of this and you could say that oh i noticed that they're watching me a little bit more or oh, my ex is now reaching out that's all irrelevant yes sometimes that's your end goal but it's so irrelevant that you shouldn't be ready to take them back if you haven't seen any accountability if you haven't seen them actually changing what is the point it defeats the purpose of going backwards remember you're doing this all for yourself so imagine if you work this hard to get this far just to end up back with them and then sometimes it could just get you back to the start of how you were in the beginning when you aren't doing so well so that does mean that you're trying to have this maintained to the longest but you don't need things to affect it going back backwards is one thing you don't want and stagnation is something you definitely don't want as well and so you really want to see how can you continue to make progress without them and if they don't actually deserve you don't find reasons to actually make it validated enough to say they do if they haven't been showing it enough and also just be real with yourself like if you do care about them yes that's the truth that's what it is but also try harder to find ways not to have it like that and also back to just taking them back and stuff like that never ever settle for the things that you don't want right like if you see that they're not going to be able to be like the specific way there's no need to change them a female will change on her own if she really wants you bad enough she will change for you or give you the reasons why you should be going ahead and being with her or giving her another chance if you do have success and you do have the end results that result right back to her let it be that's the case but let it be the greater purpose is that you want the success you want the transformation you want the change to happen for yourself and most times when it's really done for yourself that's when you're going to have actual guaranteed like let's say long term success actual guaranteed oh yeah i'm making real progress and that person can really see that oh well they don't even care about me why should i even keep trying and it becomes they still will be consumed sometimes but they also understand not to play with you as much as they might want to come back into your life take you serious for a second but then go back into their old habits as much as they might want to do that it's not going to be good enough for you even if you want to do it for fun and so really understand what you're getting into what you're dealing with if it's worth it or if it's not but most importantly what you're doing for yourself to help yourself out and the real changes that have to be really done everybody has their own key things that they really got to work on so really check yours and if it's going to be a parent it's going to be a parent if it's going to be anything else that you know that you got to really work on work on that and so that's it for this video like i said comment other videos that y'all want to see make sure you check out all the links down below don't forget to be subscribed with your post notification on bye y'all i am in control i control my thoughts and i think positively sleep affirmations available in the link down below Walking away is so powerful that you find yourself in the process, but it could also be, oh, she sees that you're going on dates. 
she sees that you're moved on. No matter how many times you also walk away and if you keep coming back, it won't have the same value until you walk away and say, I'm gonna do it forever. That could come with other jealous feelings of, oh, well, now he has more access to women. Now walking away also means what are you walking away from? Are you walking away from being disrespected? You feel that, dang, this person's making me feel all types of pain, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, but I feel it. 